So if you're new to Apocalypse Rising 2, you've probably had a hard time finding loot or just getting started. In this video, I'm going to be covering the basics of looting and also show you guys some of my methods to finding yourself gear. To begin with, if you don't know what to look for when exploring the map, you should really be looking for these. The equipment case, the metal case, military weapon case, special forces weapon case, small metal box, soviet weapon crate, the tan surplus weapon crate, the green surplus weapon crate, the regular weapon case, and then there's three variants of the safe, which are the small safe, the regular safe, and then the large safe. And all of those are pretty much the main sources to finding yourself a decent gun, but it really depends on which one you loot and find a gun in. If you don't know which is the best to loot, I made a little bit of a tier list that you can see for yourself. An alternative to this is to find heli crashes. These will give you top tier loot, but these are rare and will spawn at random throughout the map. Even another alternative to that would be to find boss infected, which when killed will drop guns, ammo, and sometimes backpacks. To find these, you need to spot the ones with the guns on their back, but try to be careful with them because they actually hit faster than the normal ones. When it comes to looting in general in terms of where you should be going, these are the places that are going to have the bulk of supplies. For guns, go to the gun stores or police stations. For medical supplies, check out the hospitals. And for food and drinks, you should probably check out commercial restaurants or kitchens in the houses. Now I'm going to be showing you guys two examples of how I would loot areas as a fresh spawn. So for our first spawn, we got to spawn right next to Regional and Buford. So my plan of action here is it depends where I really want to go. Let's say I died at Fairview. I would definitely just go right to Regional and loot it and then go right to Fairview. But in this case, it, it really depends what you're feeling. So I'm just going to go right to Buford. Sometimes I like to go to Regional, sometimes I like to go to Buford. It depends how often I get to spawn, but um, usually I actually don't get to spawn over here, so this is kind of rare. Again, make sure you look at these crates here. These are the most important things you're going to find guns in. Uh, like Stuff like this, don't even try looting because you're not going to really find anything, but unless you need car parts, loot that. But again, make sure you pay attention to the, the crates. Presumably, I would just bounce between weapon crates so that I know where the locations are of them since I've been playing this game for quite a long time and it's it, it just makes it so much faster instead of looting all through a house and stuff you just gotta pay attention to these weapon crate empty so I know there's not a crate there and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right to the police station in Buford because I know there's also a bunch of crates there and a high chance to get a gun so again I know that there's a crate up here with the secondary I check that I check that come downstairs here check these crates this is important as well check this here I'm getting nothing my next option would be check this warehouse here because I know that there is a spawn for a weapon here usually a Winchester or a shotgun so got a shotgun I really just check every crate and bounce from crate to crate if there's no gun in them like I'll go and check up here for a Soviet weapon because there's a Soviet crate up here and uh I think this is quite rare to get both and then my next bet would just be to find a backpack because that's really all I would need after finding these two guns. So I would obviously just check these houses here because that's... Oh god, there's a guy. Okay. Okay, well I killed both of them so I mean there's really my loot. But yeah, this guy was kind of loaded to be honest with you. But let's say I didn't get a gun from any of that. I would actually go over to this red house here because I actually find a gun a lot here. This one right over there. So yeah, I would check this area because I know there's a gun crate in here that usually has a Tommy or something like that. But yeah, I'm going to reset now and I'm going to go to the next location. So it looks like I got to spawn right next to Hastings and Coastal Bunkers. Now Hastings is my favorite town so I just go right there. But again, it depends where you need to go. If you if you don't need to go really anywhere and like get back to your body, like let's say you died in Ash and you spawn over here, I'd hit up Coastal Bunkers and then just go right to Ash to see if you can get a gun from here and just go right there and hit up maybe some houses on the way. But if you really don't have a objective, I would just go and loot Hastings because it actually has a decent amount of loot you can find there. Upon entering the town, I usually like to check this little shack here because there's a chance that you can find a gun. And this is my way of doing it. Everybody has their own ways of doing it. Like, I have a routine way of checking Hastings. Like, I check here and here for a gun. If I don't get anything here, I make sure always to hit the gun store. Because there's usually something good in there you can get started with. Or even something better. It's just, again, checking these crates is, like, the biggest thing here. I'm 1903. Check this crate behind the wall. Maybe check some of these. Get a secondary. I'm 1911 is actually good. Better than the snub, in my opinion. Since I didn't really get anything 
that good in here. I'm just gonna go right to the house, dual toned red house here, because I know there's a, a boss zombie that spawns in there with the G3 if you kill it. I'll just go right up to the closet area here, because he's usually in here. And since he's not in here, and there's nothing in these crates here, I, pro I would probably just hit up the hospital. Because I know there's a gun case in the back of it. Usually when I come into the hospital, there's a there's usually a backpack here, but obviously there's not. Uh, check some of these crates. And the back room is what I usually check for. Like, usually an M4 Mini 14 spawns in here. Or like a Camp Carbine, but obviously not. And like, now that I know that there's nothing that I can loot in here besides medkits if I really need them. Which I really don't, actually. I would actually just go right out to these military tents down here. Because I know there's like a... Because I know there's a crate here. But like, now that I looted the entirety of Hastings, I would just go right up to... Since I don't really have anything, and there's probably a high chance there's people at Mass. I would just go straight to Motel, or also straight to Obs to find a gun up there. And also, if you didn't know, if you walk away far enough from the town, everything's gonna respawn on it. And you can actually just go right back to it and loot it again, and like, cycle the loot. So that's, that's also something people do. When they're trying to farm loot, but I'm not someone who does that, so I know a lot of people do when they're in like farming servers with like a low pop. Usually I don't like checking odds because there's really nothing here. I mean, there's I know there's one gun crate here, which is up on this like little room up here. I'm not sure if I can find anything that good. I don't really usually like checking these crates because the guns that are in them, I don't really like using. But it, again, it's different for everybody when it comes to their personal preferences. So hopefully this video helped you guys out a bit. Again, it's just going to take time for you guys to fully understand the map as it took me quite a while to be at a point where I'm at now. Also, a new map is in the works, so don't really get too comfortable with this one. Again, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and join my Discord as it means the world to me. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a nice day.